Hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC, uh, laying in bed at home, uh, editing day two, part two. I j I'm realizing that the first half of day two footage, the microphone wasn't working. It was on, but there was a cable issue, so there's no audio. So I'm gonna voice over the whole thing. If it's weird, it's weird, but it's stuff worth showing, so uh, enjoy. At like the three or four minute mark, it goes back to normal and the mics are working. So, uh, yeah. Thanks. Bye. So, right off the bat, ProTech booth had to do it, had to hit it. ProTech Magic Whiskers is back, baby. Uh, big fan. Uh, already had the ATCF, already had pretty much everything else that was in the box. Uh, then we go over to Devo. Addicted Knives is present. Colin is, is, so there's Lewis, right? There's Colin. Jake, Bearded Gear, still there. And you'll notice we all realize that there's something missing. Yes, left EDC. Still not working. Still not doing his job. Right? What are you doing, man? Tashi Barusha. Baruka. Bar Bar Barucha. Incredible customs. I didn't even want to pick him up. I was kind of afraid to touch him, so I just looked at him for a minute and kind of drooled a little bit. Uh, very nice gentleman. Very kind. Uh, beautiful stuff. Moving on, HEA Designs, they did confirm that's how you say it. Uh, they had a couple new model, or just the one new model this year. Uh, nice little front flipper with deployment slots, carbon fiber on the show side, and titanium on the reverse, on the clip side. Nice action, decent little knife, super lightweight. Um, also very, very nice gentleman. Cool little knife, I forget what the blade steel was, maybe S35VN. Uh, then we go over to Rayot. Rayot had uh, the usual wares, some Peñas, uh, some of their pre-existing models. Uh, and then they have the, the uh, Kirby Lambert Mini Crossroads. Uh, and as I was playing with this, the gentleman behind the counter just kept bringing out more versions of it. Uh, I did. <laughs> There's one. There's the second model that he just laid down. Uh, really nice knife, honestly. Uh, way, it, it's a very reasonably sized knife. It looks really big in the pictures, but I'm, I wouldn't call it mini. I think that's kind of a, an overstatement. But there's the third one he just sat down. Uh, this was the Timascus bolster, Timascus clip, and a damn steel blade. It was ridiculous. Um, and very pretty and very shiny. Kara liked this one a lot. Action was great. Um, not like a guillotine. A little bit of a shake shot, but, you know, nice and snappy. Uh, flipper only, which is, you know, kind of a bummer, but whatever. And then the third version that he gave me was the... I don't even know what to call it. I'm sure he told me, but I was kind of in uh, in the zone. There they are. Really cool knife. Really nice looking knife, too. And then they bring out this thing. Um, and it's, it's called the Terminator. I kid you not. It's insane. It weighs 18 pounds. It has about 30 screws on it. The blade stock's like a quarter inch thick. It is ridiculous in every single way. And we found Peter. Peter found us, I guess. Therapeutic Edge, sub to his channel. Awesome dude. Love Peter. So this guy's showing me how to use it, and I struggle. I actually cut it out of this video. I, sh I couldn't figure it out. I still, even after playing with it for like eight minutes, I'm not exactly sure how it works. But it locks every time you open it and every time you close it. You have to push that switch up, and then you can actuate it. So I closed it, now I have to push the switch up again. And then it flips, right? And then, it's ridiculous, crazy recurve, tanto. So it locks open, and you have to press the switch again. It's like a 12-step process. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, here's the regular uh, footage. Serge! How you doing, man? Love your knives. I've had a Boker Lancer for like three years. I love it. But, One of my faves. Yeah, I know. They're all... Like, like my Arnie, I got the... Uh, I felt the titanium one of those. Yeah. Action's great. Uh, you look at the dial, and it's like... I it doesn't it. look any different to me. Yeah, no, you, know, yeah, you uh, need them, dog. Right. Yeah. I think they're getting a year to rotate my watches. You know. Whereas these, I'm going to get 8 to 10 out uh, 8 to 10 years before I can get any. Right. So, I'm, I'm good with it. Yeah. It's on my driver's license picture. <laughs> Thank you. I look like I'm about 12 without it, so. I'm 13 with it, you know what I mean? 
Yeah, that's what uh, Grateful Bandit was telling me, and I, I was like, what? Nobody called? Nobody called me? I would have lost. I mean, Rolex was a I'm not setting it for that to get service. No, no. Beautiful. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And that's why a lot of my Seikos, you know, I got a guy that can throw a new movement in it for Beautiful. 20 bucks. While I'm over here, this is a hell of a trio of booze right here. Surge and, yeah, please, you know. Well, <laughs> getting wild over here, man. <laughs> All right, it'll be 18 on Think the deadlock. That noise? What? Thunk. It's so easy. I've never handled one. You drool over it, you know, but it's so easy. I don't. I'm probably a little more broken in, though. Oh, the green. This is the grail of grails for OTFs, man. They're about. That's the current bid. That's unreal. Stunning. Stunning, stunning stuff. Collab with Surge. The Hawk Boys. Blade Runner Systems. Can we get a deal on the banana? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a little too steep. A little too steep. Five bucks. <laughs> I, I think I might lose my job if that's what If doing. that mixed with like a $7 Powerade, you know, yeah. we're, yeah. You can we're, get a combo deal. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Shoo. Look at that little cutie. I love it. I love that one. Yeah. The uh, amount of ways you can like open it and then like fidget with it is like. Right up, and man. Yeah. Drops really well, too, can you? Yeah. Kinda. You gotta, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really it's hard to do it looking through a camera, right? Yeah. Right. So, you can also like, you know, do it inverted to the layout. Yeah, 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 yeah. God, these are monsters, man. Yeah, they are. These are biggins. I don't want to chop your hand off. Yeah, Woof! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this one's super cool. Yeah, but yeah, adorable. And I love Warnie, so. These are like our newest ones. These are Button Lot. Yeah. Um, oh, one on yeah. B2. They're a lot cheaper than our typical standard. Like most of our Eagle knives are typically like in the $100 range. Yeah. These guys are like 50 bucks. Yeah. Oh, nice. It's a little, a very affordable little cute button little chode, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Here it goes, though. Trigger pull. Great action. Yeah. They're based on a, another folder we have that's a frame lock. That yep. Time. Yep. Oh yeah, beautiful stuff from BRS. What's the model name on, on these? I forget. It's Omen V2. Omen. Look at that. I love this. This is Cerakote, right? That is anodized. Anodized? Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me look at that. That's Cerakote. Okay. I was like, how did you do that? Are you a witch? What the heck? God, that is beautiful. Fanatic Edge. Woo. Oh man, it feels good in the hand. Big recurve. All the colors of the damn rainbow. Go ahead, man. You're good. Get on in there. You won't hurt my feelings. Blacked out. Wow, that just drops, man. Gorgeous. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna we're gonna mosey on down the road here. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Child. Oh my gosh. That's stunning. Oh, the D10 is Reset insane. That grind work. Wow. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> I love the stuff Kombu's doing, man. Love it. Are you the man behind Kombu? Yeah. Oh, dude. Your <laughs> photography is incredible, by the way, too. Yes, yeah. Absolutely. Great stuff, dude. Great stuff. Here, straight from Poland. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. And I'm far away from home right now. 13 hours in playing. There he is, it's Kombu Knives, there he is. The man behind all of this beauty. It's my first play show. That's on Same. stars, yeah. Same. yeah. It's so cool, isn't it? No Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. The Costa, man. This one. Watching your life with Nips Knives. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when I was yeah. in Chicago? Yeah. 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 Hotel room. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, God, they're all so good, man. You do damn fine work, my friend. Yeah. Thank you. I wish I had a booth. Yeah. Instead of this table. Right. I still had a booth. Yeah. Somebody took it. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, kind of last minute table. Yeah. Dang. It works. But it yeah. works. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Just exhibiting. Oh, right. nothing's for sale. Ooh. Axis lock. Axis lock from Best Tech. Get out of Dodge. Kombu design. Yeah. Yes. Gorgeous. Check the action. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's oh, so smooth. Yeah. Oh, that's insane. Yeah. I love the scales. The disc works really great. Absolutely. But maybe not nice. Wow. That's amazing. Just drops. Beautiful. So this uh, don't have a name. But they will be uh, available in a few months. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Probably into summer. Yeah. I mean, this is just. Yeah, yeah, the crazy, stunning. crazy, the full I mean, dress. Love, yeah. It's so crazy. Another 10 designs in preparation. Really? Wow. I, have already I mean, all of these are his. Yeah. All I know, but he gets another 10, man. he just said. You're, you're yeah. wild, man. I am full time in my designer. Yeah. Full time yeah. now? That's awesome. Dude, that's so good. That's so awesome. Well, you're damn good at it, dude. Yes. Thank you, sir. You are damn good at it. I have sketchbook with kind of 200 designs. Oh my god, you're going to be busy, buddy. I will, I'm doing it since a young age, you know. All oh, okay. Doing, yeah. Really? Drawing knives and guns, knives uh -huh. and guns. Really? Yeah. I, that's what I was going to ask, like, where did it, when did you start, I guess, so, that young? Yeah. Designing knives, honestly. Yeah. Well, it's like people that design cars, they say they drew, they drew cars, cars all yeah, the time like when they were a kid, were right? Yeah. That's what young boys do. Right, yes, exactly. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I was driving uh, drawing cars and trucks when I was a kid. But you can't draw. So I can't it, draw, it though. Like I'm a, a really bad yeah. artist. Yeah, the G10 Costa. I need to pick one of these up. Yeah. Oh, the action's still great. Yeah. yeah. Oh, come on. And now we have the Ornetta with more affordable Yeah, 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 the G10 Ornetta, yeah, dude. D2 or N690. Finally something for guys who wanted to have my design but never... Yeah. Uh, were able to afford it, yeah. Yeah, just behind the doors, not... It, it's not for everybody. Yeah. 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 And now yeah. I'm happy that we reached the lower price. The budget price, price range, yep. Yeah. Beautiful. Action's just crazy on all of them, man. Crazy. But this one is most important for me. Yeah. The what? Bubaya just came uh, yesterday. Really? Yeah. Is this a prototype as well? No, this is the final product. Okay. They just hit the dealers, white mountain nice. Oh, really? And Perfect. Have it, uh, just today morning they made it live. Oh, okay. Yeah. Everybody can buy it. Wow. You can buy it. It's crazy. It's great in the hand, though. And, uh, the blade has a CNC made grind, so that makes it pretty unique, you know. Yes, yeah. Something different. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, that is wild. 
you, know, you can set in that, but... It looks good stone wash too. Yeah. It looks wild, man. I told Pestek to not prepare any fancy colors for this one. Yeah. yeah. Just it looks me. cool stone washed. It looks like real rugged, kind of like a, a Blade Runner, you know what I mean? You know that movie Blade yeah. Runner? Yeah. Absolutely. That's, that's the vibe I'm getting. Kind of beat up, been used. Yeah. I love it. Rustic. Nuts. I follow you, your YouTube. Yeah. I follow all you YouTube viewers from yeah. the US. Yeah. But, well, I appreciate you following me, dude. I love your knives, brother. Thank we'll you. be back around. We'll see you around. Yeah, I'm in the pit. The pit? Oh, yeah, Perfect. I'm, I stay in this hotel, so. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome, dude. Yeah. So I hope to see you later. Yeah. Oh, we'll yeah. see you, brother. Take it easy, man. Appreciate it. I'm gonna record the tanks, man. Look at, dude, look at it. <laughs> Just look at the damn thing. Is this a, you're kidding me. What is this for? Is this a lock pin? Yep. Yeah. To make it a fixed plate. Yeah. Oh, okay. This it's your a, safety pin. These are all 100% uh, Viking tools. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the new Built for Viking sized hands. That's yep. for damn yeah. sure. <laughs> Lord almighty. You got the bomber. The great drop, drop shot action, yeah. you know? Yeah. It only weighs 18 pounds, hey, that blade. can't do that. Okay. It's a two-handed knife. It's from yeah. Germany. They're not allowed to have one-hand opening knives. Yeah. Really? Okay. These kids are so still. Right. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So. You can kind of pinch and roll, you know? Yeah. Wild. That's a big and do. Yeah, this is the little Viking. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen the giant version oh, before. The yeah. 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 I mean, it's still this is still giant. Let's be honest, you know. But God, it's just the insanity is not wasted on me. Honestly, not nearly as heavy as they look, too, which is kind of surprising. It is a heavy knife, but you look at pictures of it and you're like, that weighs seven and a half pounds. You know what I mean? Yeah. So cool, man. So cool. Gnarly. Oh, and there's the. <laughs> The biggest of them all. The big. Oh my God! Now that's not light. I gotta zoom out. Hold on. <laughs> zoom out. Look at this. Just look at this damn thing. Ergos are great. Yeah. <laughs> for something that big, you know. I want to go chop down a tree. You guys should have like a tree out here for people to chop on. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, Can yeah. I scout yeah. carry it like straight across? You know what I mean. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so cool. It's just too damn cool. I love it. Hey, look, uh, quick, we've got a knife up front. Um, Ooh. Being voted on for uh, uh, best design. Yeah, yeah. Uh, imported. So Perfect. Which one? The case of oh, I'll see it from a mile away. Yeah. You'll know it because it's got a, it's a very big knife, but it's got a very unique holding mechanism. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, if you get a chance, I'll it. go yeah. check it out. We haven't even hit that yet. Yeah, the axe is so cool. How do you say it? What's the proper way to say it? Right, okay. Rake. Rake. Okay, like the garden tool. You got it, bro. Got it. Now all of the internet will know the proper way to say it. Yeah, there's about a million ways. I love it. I love what they're doing at the price point they're doing it at, man. And honestly, it's some of the best 14C on the market. As far as heat treat goes, in a, in a production knife. Everybody's switching to it, but you guys have been doing it forever. Yeah, they've been doing it forever. And, and what they, what I really like, it, what they do is they take popular models and then pump it up the titanium. Yep, pieces. right. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Because their designs are great. They're all just clean, nice-looking knife designs. You know what I mean? Uh, the P121 is black and green right here. Oh, these yeah. guys. Yep. There's a the big boy right here. Oh wow! Oh, oh the clip. with the polished yeah. blue clip. Love that. That's a nice oh. touch. Great action. It's just nuts. It's nonsense, man. It's crazy. And I love that they always give you that option too. Yeah. A little safety lock. <sighs> Smooth. Smooth operator, man. It's a big one. It's beautiful too. I was gonna point that out. And these are all, babe. These G10 ones are like 30 bucks. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Which one do you like? So cool. That's incredible. Thirty some dollars. There you go. Yep. One of those things that just needs a good picture taken of it. Lord Almighty. You guys having a good time? 
Oh yeah. Feet hurt. Yep. But I still got batteries in the camera. <laughs> Mics are still not dead for now. That's beautiful. Yeah. Lord. You, you, uh, YouTube or just for your own? YouTube. Yeah. YouTube channel. Yep. That's yeah. why. It's the man behind Jack Wolf Knives. Hey, what's up, it's, everybody? His name's Wolf, and his last name's Jack. Wolf Jack. My name is Ben Dumb. Wolf Jack. <laughs> Jack Wolf is my grandfather. My name is Dumb. That's his, that was his real name? Yeah. Oh, that's Jack, so Jack cool. Wolf, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah, his real name was Wolf. And I was like, this is the coolest that's, name ever. That is literally the coolest My grandfather, name. like, that's where I got my love of knives. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. I'm not even going to try to close that all the way right now with a camera in my hand. But I do. I just, I'm just, it's so thin. Stunning, dude. You, you do like a, are going to do a different I need to see the little, the laid back Jack over here. I'm going to have to check that out. Thank you. Are you selling everything at the show? Yeah. Everything for sale on the table? These are the display models. Oh. But I got knives underneath. You, you got laid backs back there? Yeah, I do. I have, I think, green and natural my card on left. We don't have any of those. Or black. Or black. Yeah, so we got so that one in your hand and that green. Because I don't own a single slip joint, well, you know. This is a that. good place to start. What kind of EDC YouTube channel do I run? Exactly. I don't. How dare you? I know, man. That's borderline rude. <laughs> I just point cameras at stuff and say things, you know what I mean? It's a real easy job. Yeah, oh, there you go. Yeah, I got just what yeah. you need, dude. Yeah. I actually have a fuck for you. It just, it is, like, it's not even there, dude. It's so weird. It's right? like the knife's filled with helium or something. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's just going to float away. They're pretty wild. Uh, the other one is, so that one's 1095 Damascus. Yeah. And this one is some... They're 80 CRV to something or other. I don't even know the way it's here. Wow. And copper Damascus. And so they kept the copper away from the cutting edge because it's just yeah, it's soft. Yeah, yeah. But God, it looks so cool. Right? And dude, this one, I can, I can, uh, you sell on that one for like five and a quarter. Which is crazy that to one's me. Like maybe six fifty. Which is wow. nuts yeah. for right. like what it is and yeah. how it's being made. Right. Yeah. It's insane. And the guy's he's got a torment and a grinder in his rack. That's, that's it. Wow. Yeah. That's like a fucking disco ball. Right. That's so crazy. Yeah, that's it's really cool. yeah, right. That's a good life. Yeah. Crazy. I yeah, love cool, cool. huh? Insane. I am so sorry. So we're checking them out now. <laughs> so are these being done by artisan CGRB for now? So, so I actually have five factories represented over there, over there oh, wow. in this mix. Did you find Shane? He's looking for you. I, he went that way. There's so, actually five factories in the mix. Of the okay. It's a good looking knife. Yeah, that's the top end. That's our only frame lock. That's the Ajuda. Is that a steel frame lock? It is. Okay. It's got. It's great. It's dialed really well. Makes a makes a great noise. Makes a great noise. Good detent. Flipper works great. Reverse flicks money. $79.99 retail on that particular knife right there. Beautiful. RPM 9 blade steel. And I love that steel, man. I really do. We got this. That is the little chalk. The fat warning, right dude. I love it. The big, thick warning. That is nearly three millimeters of D2 steel. <laughs> uh, it's the little chalk, so that should allude to the fact that at some point. We're There'll be a big chalk, man. Um, I love a good warning. Same. It's my go to blade right. shape. It's just a God, detent stiff in the best way possible. Flips great. Aluminum on that version, and we have G10 in the red and the black. And I love the I love the colorways. Kind of matches the branding. Mm -hmm. Red liners. I love it, dude. Beautiful. Slide him in a lint. Just slide it on down. So this one is. The Alenta, and it is a play on the Latin word lento, which means curve or bend. In the chase there you go. Design. Um, I love a trailing point blade. I think a sleek and sexy knife is always great. We're actually doing two limited editions that were made just for the show. You're holding one right there, and the other is the natural jade version of that knife. Gotcha. So we'll do 150 each that have the dual finished blades. So with the black the two tone, yep. and the satin finish, and there will only be 150 of those. Beyond this, we'll start doing them just as black PVD total or satin total. Uh, God, the action on that is wild. Right, and it feels good in here.
and it's just a sweet little night. Yeah. One it's thing like a, you can point out to your viewers on this one is we try to do good things for folks. I know everybody likes a lanyard hole, but sometimes you don't always really see it. It's hidden in the post back here. So turn towards the Beautiful. There it is. Bing bong. There it is. You don't have to pick and choose. I believe that every knife company, if they want to give us the option, do something like that. Right. Tuck it away. I've tried to make everything as ambidextrous as possible. So you're talking about dual thumb studs, you're talking about flippers, you're talking about uh, removable tip-up pocket clips, Absolutely. the whole bit. The whole nine yard, baby. Beautiful. What about this with the, with the poon on it? A Hawkins Rose Mohawk right there. That is a D2 knife with a dark stone wash, harpoon blade, McCarta handles, steel liners, ambidextrous thumb studs, flipper. That's the action's so good, good on all of them, man. Oh my gosh. That knife is 30. 33 I mean, call it less than 40 bucks, and it's crazy for that money, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's a sweet little knife. You think we'll do well with that knife for sure. That action is just beautiful. And I see a little button lock. Sorry, baby. Look at that little guy. Look at the color on that. I know you'd be all over that. So that is the pocket monster design. Swag Swagging out. We know. We know swags. Hi, swags. Um, that particular knife has almost a one-inch finger toil in the. Yeah, it's a big one, dude. It is a front flipper, and it is the only knife on the table that has one difference for production. If you close it up for me, you'll see that there is no jumping at the front flipper. It will come with jumping. Oh, okay. Yep. yep. It's well, it's funny with that giant choil. Mm -hmm. That's where your thumb is when it closes. Yep. It just gives you a little hug on the way down. I see that as the perfect uh, pocket monster in general to rip up your Amazon boxes. Just carry with you all the time. And the best thing about those knives, and especially like the knife she's been doing, it has that big palm swell, right? So no matter how big your hands are, it locks in yep. there even yep. with a small knife. It fills in, fills in the hand. This one gives you a little bit more than the Maria that's out there in that it has the extra ability to get down on that blade with a finger chip. You gotta love the color options. The colors so are, the cool are blast. Thing. It's the pocket monster. Do you know any famous monsters that might have that color? Have you watched Monsters Inc? Who, had, who is that color? How you doing? That's a Sully right there. My knees are shot. Good job. We are children of the 90s after all, you know what I mean? Beautiful. Killing it, Swags. Killing it, dude. And where, uh, where'd the little button lock go? Did it run away? Oh. Ooh. See, I can't do traditionals with the camera. You gotta set it down. I injured myself earlier at one of the booths with him. I've got a shoulder brace on just to not kill myself. <laughs> so I'll let you hang on to this one. Beautiful. All of our traditional knives are D2 blades with brushed satin finish. They are stainless steel bolsters that are brushed as well. The handle materials, the covers are coming in uh, genuine bone or buffalo horn. You're looking at white smooth bone right there, and that's the Little River Bend Skinner. It's an original pattern that I developed. Started off life as a trapper, bowed up the handle, and then realized, oh, I can put an upswept blade in that. And I think that's going to be a big seller for us. Uh, half stops in all the blades. Yep. You know, Walks and talks, baby. Yep, there'll be an actual stop in there so that you don't get blade wrap. Springs flush. Yes, yes. And the uh, shield is a rosebud shield. If you hold it vertical towards the camera, you'll notice that's a little rosebud right there. Yep. Nicholson like Wilson. like a, a side yeah. profile, side profile of it. Yep. Absolutely. Did you see that, babe? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, knife comes in, I think, at 42 49 42 bucks, man. I want to play with it off camera for a second. Totally <laughs> fun. I'm play with that one as well. That's probably my oh, favorite. That's, yeah. that's beautiful. Thank you, sir. It's a clinch here for Swayback. It's based on a traditional Swayback pattern. But if you pop open that blade and say, just know it's a seven or eight pull on it. So it's going to be a heavy, heavy pull. Oh, boy! Oh, the blade shapes all me, though. So Look at that. What I do is take a regular Swayback. Put a big old choil in it, man. I got a third of the choil into the bolster style, and then two thirds of the rest of that choil comes in the tang area. And what that does is give you almost a full inch of finger area, so you're not going to drop down on that knife. Right, even if it comes, yeah. 
it's just gonna you're gonna feel it. You're not chopping your finger off to the half stop. So even at the half stop, my finger's fine. It's still attached. What I keep calling that knife is the gentleman's utility knife. It's gonna be great in your pocket, but it's also gonna get. It's a tool. Yeah, it's a tool. You're gonna get great push. Yeah. You gotta have real tough fingernails to get that bitch open, though. Woo! It's also hard to do on camera. That's the only thing. Yeah. It's a seven or eight pull, I would say easily. Beautiful. Forty-six, forty-nine. Or Forty-six, forty-seven bucks, man. It's yep. crazy to me. If you're interested in any of these, before we have our stock in, all you have to do is go to roastcraftblades.com, hit the notify me now button, and we will send you an email as soon as they hit stock. Yeah. Which probably won't be that long, based right. on what you were saying earlier. July. Yeah, okay. that's not that yeah. bad at all. No, Most people are like, August, September, maybe. Yeah. Ooh, uh, who had the button lock? You, st you stole it. Do. You stole it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> the, uh, this is the skink. It is the only spring-assisted knife we have in the mix. Oh, okay. Um, it is a nice, sharp, skinny, fun little <laughs> executive knife. The button lock is the lock only. It is not a release mechanism. Yep. Because it's spring-assisted, you do have to two-hand close it or close it on the leg kind of thing. It's not going to drop all the way close. You can one-hand it. 35 bucks. You 35 can one-hand it pretty good. 35 bucks on that knife right wow. there. D2 yeah. steel. It's great. Split G10. Knife, the blades flush with the handles. It's a good little steak. It's a steak knife. I That's agree. what that is. You know what I mean? It's your portable steak knife. And it drops to there, and yep. you can kind of just pinch it. You know what I mean? Yep. So very easy one-handed close for anything with a spring in it. Yep. Too many, man, for a brand new brand, basically. So it's like your coming out party kind of thing. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Is. Well, you know. Absolutely is. That is the OG. It's D2 steel. It's an upswept cleaver blade. Love the blade you shape. You have analyzed pivot. You also have colored liners to match there. I don't want to hit this knife. You have I'm afraid. A very nice. Uh, Lanyard slot in the back that is spaced apart by the closet spacer in the middle. Check out some knives. Part. I think that's just a pretty knife, and that again falls in our budget end, which was uh, <laughs> that particular one. Oh, great detent. Thirty-three ninety-nine. Thirty-four bucks for that. Knife. That's there. so good, man. Ah. Thanks. I think if, if, if I'm pleased with anything at all that has happened so far is that they're all so easy for the general public to open and use. It and to buy, instead mind. of going to Walmart to buy a piece of crap, yep. you buy something that is actually worth a damn and worth carrying around. You know? Right. 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 And, you know obviously Sorry, CRKT. You know, shit. Beautiful. And this guy last one. Because, you know, if you go to like... Ooh, that's the pry bar one you were telling me about. Yeah. Close it up. Do not open it until I tell you. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please don't yell at me. I want you to tell me that if this knife, when you open it, is it spring assisted or is it a manual flipper with ceramic ball bearings? So give, it's only got a thumb stand. It's just the detents. It's detents money, man. Damn near perfect is yep. what it is. If and then it, it drops really well for as thin as that blade is. It is just balanced so well. That is another Swags knife. Uh, she worked at a bar for a while. Said she hated the pairing knife behind the bar. She said, "Let's make a portable." The perfect pair. pairing knife, man. You've got a cap lifter and a pry on the end of the knife. And if you had an emergency and you really needed to do it, you can use a bit driver in that hex bit spot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of like a ratchet kind is of situation. It going to be really super easy to do. No, it is not. So don't do it all the time. But if you were in a pinch and you had your bit somewhere, or you were trying to use it as a wrench, go for it. Two nice two subtle contouring on there too. Oh yeah. Really nice. Yep, yep. It just feels almost automatic at that point because that, that thumb stud is in the right spot. Reverse flick's great too. RPM 9 in that blade as well, stone wash finish. We've got the blue and then the black version is a blackout version. It is yeah. black PVD coated. 60 bucks. I don't want to hurt myself. Yep. 60 bucks on that. Beautiful. The Rosecraft folks at Blade Show. Come see us, guys. Bye. 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 Go buy their wares. They're fine, fine cutlery wares. It's good stuff. They're good people. Thanks, guys. See ya. Woo! It's a long day. That's, the, that's day two. Holy cannoli. The first day felt like a breeze, but second day it starts to kind of kick in and yeah. your, your feet get tired and your calves burning. It's a good workout, man. A lot of walking. Uh, my, but my feet aren't really tired. I'm just tired. 
yeah. we need to, I don't I don't know what it is about Cole and I always talk about this when we do uh, our, the other trade shows but like just talking to people is exhausting yeah yeah honestly um that sounds so strange. Just talking to people, it's no, like sucks. I, I it hate is, it. No, I know. I know. I know. It is when you talk to that many. Yep. It's it's not yep. it's not talking to people is exhausting. It's just on that scale. It's yeah, exhausting. totally. One hundred percent agree. Um, but we did finally, as you saw, catch up with Lefty. Um, he does exist. We he, found he Vera. We found Rayot, <laughs> Pena. Yeah, he does exist. He did. He was actually working. He completely lost his voice yesterday. Yeah, completely. Uh, I can kind of, you can hear the rasp in my voice probably now today. Yeah. Uh, we finally met a bunch of YouTube buddies. Big Red, uh, Stevie, Mattisfaction. Love Them Knives. Love Them Knives right at the end in yeah. the pit. That was awesome. Good to see him. Old Richard. Yeah. Neves, um, obviously. Neves again. Yeah. Uh, we, we ran, ran into bees and in, in the Queen Bee, yes. We ran into Grump again. Grump Grumpy Grunt. Grunt, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, 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 Did you say Bama Knife Guy? Obviously. Lee, Shane. We ran into Bama yesterday. Yeah, right. Shane. And the big the big takeaway for me was Jotzi. Pulsa. Oh yeah, was just. <laughs> I mean, it was that magical. Was, it was a that magical was literally experience. Literally magical. It, and when we pulled up this morning, we actually saw so he it. parked. He parked in the same parking garage that we parked in. Yep. And Cole and I saw him, and Cole said he looks so much like the Colsa guy. Like I want, like jokingly making right? a joke. I was yeah. like, dude, babe, look, it's Joe Seen Colsa. Yeah. There he is, yeah. joking, completely not really? serious. No way in hell is he there. Sure as shit, Shane hunts us down later in the day, like four or five hours later. Well, and what's and, funny is I saw him yesterday, but I didn't think anything yeah. of it. Like, I saw him and didn't think anything of it. But. Yeah, yeah. But, so, Shane hunts me down. He's like, dude, you'll you'll never freaking believe who yeah. I just got a picture with. And he told me, and I ran. I, like, ran around the corner to yeah. find him. And yeah. he was, I had to, like, wait in line. There were, like, all kinds of people swarming him. Like, he was talking to these two old guys. Yeah. Like, who are, I guess, old buddies of his. And, and I was like patiently waiting like uh, like it was like meeting a celebrity yep. that you've always wanted to meet That's how it felt to me. So really pumped. He gave me his card said he, he would love to get on a, like an interview a channel yeah. uh, Like a, a video with me, which would be so awesome. That would so. Be so awesome. Yeah, we are driving back to the cabin um, It's been a long day. We got dinner. We're probably gonna get in the hot tub. We might like might hit the tub We might, might tub it Might film not not filming there. That sounds bad. <laughs> oh, whoa. Well, Yahtzee Cha-ching! Score, dude. I don't know. I guess you'll find out. <laughs> uh, yeah, but we're going <laughs> to soak our aching bones yeah. this evening. I'm going to try to process the second half of yesterday's footage yeah. and get today's stuff offloaded. Uh, and then we're going to work out a game plan tomorrow. Not sure if we're going to go or not. I would like to. There's like, and only for maybe an hour or two before we head back. Because well, it's a short day tomorrow anyway. Not head back, so we have a long drive. We gotta kind of figure out if we're able. We don't know if we have housing now. So right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The people we're staying with might be leaving tomorrow. And so if that happens, then and we're we not planned sure on leaving Monday morning. Do. Yeah, because we have at least like a six and a half hour drive, and that's yep. not really feasible after the show tomorrow. It right. is, but not really. Yeah. Yeah, feeling the way I do right now, I would not want to cruise up seventy five for six hours. Oh, I got the hiccups from dinner. But it was a lot of fun. We hunted down a lot of people that we wanted to hunt down. So you will see, you will have seen all that by now. But yeah, maybe we'll check in from the hot tub. Who knows? It might get weird. It might yeah, get wild. It might get weird. Who knows? But uh, worst case, we'll uh, we'll see you all very very soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.